Today in our 2015 Volkswagen Golf, we're going to be test fitting the Thule Passage 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT. We already have a bike installed on the rack, let's go ahead and take a closer look and show off some of the features. The cradles themselves are adjustable along the length of the arms. And this is going to make it easier for installing two bikes to give you a little bit of adjustability there. It grabs the bike in three, po uh, three points. We have two straps up at the top two, and one off to the side here, and that's going to serve as an anti-sway strap to keep the bike from moving too far back and forth, possibly hitting the bike in front of it. Let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. Now to assist in making this a little bit easier to remove, the anti-sway cradles do lift up and out of the way, so when you do take your bike off, you don't have to really fight with the rack. With the bike rack in this position with the arms folded out, I want to go ahead and give you a couple measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outer edge here, we've added about 22 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. Now for close quarter situations such as parking or putting it back in your garage, you're gonna need a little extra clearance in the rear. To do that, these arms do fold down and you push these silver tabs, there's one on each side, you push them in at the same time and these spin down and out of the way. Now with them folded up and out of the way, again measuring from the edge of the bumper, now we've only added about 10 inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that did make quite a bit of difference. Now how this actually attaches to your hatch, there's going to be six points of contact. We're going to have two rubber coated hooks up at the top here, two to either side just above the tail light, then two here at the bottom. We also have these, padded, these pads here at the bottom as well as at your rear windshield, and that's going to make sure your vehicle doesn't get scratched up once this is installed. Now you cannot use your rear windshield wiper blade when these are installed. If you look to the inside of the bike rack here, you're going to see this dial here. This is the fit dial specifically for this vehicle. You're going to want to have it set at 8, although double check with your instructions just to be sure. And there you have it for the Thule Passage 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT on our 2015 Volkswagen Golf. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.